something going on. How are you doing today, boys? The preacher's in charge today. What's going on around here? Well, Have you got to have I wonder what it's all about. Must be something special. Well, boys, you're welcome to the meeting. No, can't go for that. Come oh, on, no, me uh, either. Well, it won't do you any hurt. Oh, well, I want to get a drink. Not today. It's a saloon, ain't it? Can't you read? What? Church, today. Boys, I'm giving you two hours off so you can join our friends' congregation. Thank you, boys. All right. Well, Parson, everything's about ready. I think we better start serving. I, oh, I beg your pardon. I mean, uh, services. Yes, Father Hicks. Everything looks first class. Hi, Mr. Johnson. Hi, Jack. Got a full house today. But we got a nice chair over there against the wall where you'll be nice and comfortable. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Jim, wonder where those two young scoundrels are. Oh, that, 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 that's all right. They'll be here in a minute, 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 second. Well, they better be. How about a little drink? Behave yourself. Court's in session. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I mean, church is open. Take off your hat. My friends, I have asked only the male members of my congregation to attend this sermon because I wish to discuss a situation that is of vital importance to every man in this valley, the coming of the sheep men into a cattle country. Come on, Wally, hurry up. Hey, we're late. The old man will be on the warpath. Yeah. Yeah, you go first. All right. Gee, what a peach. Reckon that must be the new biscuit shooter at the restaurant. If our young friend, my sermon. Well, it's right over there, boys. Thanks, Jack. Dad. Late as usual, huh? Sorry, Dad. I have chosen for the text of my sermon this morning the 39th verse of the 22nd chapter of Matthew. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I beg you to bear these words in mind. For I realize we are facing a grave crisis. Congress has declared Laramie Basin closed and leased range. That means that any man, be he cattleman, sheepman, or farmer, has a right to come in here, providing he holds a government lease. Do not let hatred and bitterness rule your hearts. These men who are coming into the valley are your brothers. Brothers, eh? Well, let me tell you, Mr. Skypilot, 
They're not coming into this valley. Hold your horses, Thompson. The Parsons right. According to this Homestead Act that's just been passed, these sheepmen have a right to come in here, and we can't do a blame thing to prevent them. Do you mean you're turning it in your friends and thrown in with a pluck of land-grabbing woolly chasers? Oh, you know where my sympathies are, Wynn. I was born a cattleman. And I ain't got any more use for these ring-tailed, smelly pests. These strangers within our gates, Brother Gorman. Uh, as I was saying, uh, these strangers within our gates have got the law with them. It ain't easy for me to have to protect these dirty... these strangers within our gates but as long as I'm sheriff of this county, the law is going to be enforced. You cattlemen had a chance to buy or lease the range, but you didn't do it. And it ain't yours. Not mine, eh? The first sheepman that puts his foot on my range will find out whose it is. Easy, Dad. We don't want to have any trouble here. I'll tell him with a six gun. Thompson's right. I'm with him. Oh, yes. Oh, my. I'm with Brethren! Let us unite in solemn prayer. too many years to let anything like this bust us up. I ain't friends with no sheep man posing as a sheriff. If you're thrown in with them dirty murdering varmints, you better keep out of my way. That's all I can tell you. Stop. Listen, you two. I want to see you pull it off the ranch right away. Come on, Higgy. Back out of here. Hey, Ken. The old man said he wanted to see you. He was looking at you when he said it. He had blood in his eye. You better get going. Oh, he can wait. I got some official business with a fella over here. Has he got blonde hair? and ruby lips. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Fresh, aren't you? Oh, maybe a little forward. Is there a minstrel show in town? <laughs> nope. Just a stranger to soap. Come on in. Believe it or not, lady, but this is my best pal, Ken. A little the worse for wear, but not a bad-looking guy when he gets his face washed. How do, miss? As for yours truly, you are feasting your baby blue eyes on the one and only Wally Thompson, a personality supreme, only offspring of Winchester Thompson. I know you two. 
You're the pair who gave the West a bad name. Oh, you've been reading books. How about my ham and eggs? How would you like to go with me to the dance? Hey, all in your horns there, Longhorn. I ain't exactly crippled myself, you know. Now listen, miss. You positively be cheating yourself if you don't go to that dance with me. Honest. Do I get my ham and eggs or don't I? Well, you two fight it out while I go take care of that old walrus. Well, pal, we'll have to settle this in the usual manner. All right. What do you take? I'll take heads. Fly at it. Hmm. As usual. <laughs> you have all the luck in the world. There are your ham and eggs. Well, have you decided which one of you is going to have the pleasure of my company tonight? You're in luck, beautiful. It's me. All right, Romeo. Meet you here tonight. What do you suppose is going on out there? See you tonight, Goldie. The sheep herder's headed this way with his band of sheep, and he intends to drive him through this town. Well, well if he does, he's in for a lot of trouble. Hey, boys. Let's stampede them. What's the matter? What's up, boys? Well, there's a sheep herder headed this way with his band of sheep, and he intends to go through this town with them. And this is a cattleman's town. We found it, and it ain't going to no sheep polluted. Yes, son, that goes for me, too. I'm feeding lead to the first sheep herder that steps into this town. Wait a minute, wait a minute, boys. We don't want to start any range war around here. Come on, boys. Stand aside, you two. Come just on, a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. I'll take it easy. Let's talk this over. You heard what the minister said. We don't want to be too hasty. You fellas, Here. wait a minute now. Come on. Listen to me, all of you. I give you a warning that these sheep herders have the law on their side, and I'll arrest for murder the first hombre that pulls down on them. Look at here, Sheriff. I think maybe me and Wally can get them to go around town. Better let me try it. All right, Ken, go ahead. Come on, Wally. Now, you fellas, wait a minute. Listen to me. All right, Wally, come on. And that's all there is to it. Well, Remember, it's going to be a big. Wait a minute, there they go. Listen to me. Either. Hey, Wally, what's the matter? Well, all I can say is that those two hombres better be successful. Because law or no law, I'm getting the first sheep herder that comes into this town. Say, listen, Butch. You better get that killing idea out of your head. Sheepherd of polluting a perfectly good cowboy's outfit. What do you think of that, Wally? Serve them right if we stripped them. Just my sentiments, exactly. I'll snare him off of there. We'll take the shaft off of him, huh? Come on, kid. Get, get him, boy. Come on, Wally. Clyde, get off and get him, Wally. Imagine a sheep herder, a lot of nerve. Sheep herder wearing a good cowboy's pair of shaps. Hold it. Get him off. Oh, get him off. Oh, never had him on in the first place, eh? Hey. Let's get him, Ken. Come on. Let's turn him over. Right. Come on. What are you going to do? Let's get these I reckon he'll get to know the country this time. Holy horned toads. He's a she. Why, you... You, you bully, you. But listen, Ben. What's happening here, Judy? Dad. I... Listen, Miss. We're 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 downright sorry. We we thought you was well what you ain't. Sure. Stay about your business, you two. Listen, partner. We come down here on a right friendly mission. You aiming to take these sheep through town? What if I am? I advise you not to do it. The place is full of cattlemen. They threaten to start shooting the minute your bellwether sets a hoof in the street. No cattleman's gonna bluff me. 
I have a government lease to the east side of Big Creek, and I'm not going around the town just to please them. Maybe we'd better go around, Dad. She's right. You better take them all around. That it look as if I'm scared. And no sheepman's backing down from a cattleman. Tell you what we'll do. We'll meet you halfway. You take them around the town, we'll help you herd them. That'll make things even. That's fair enough, Dad. And then if we have help, we won't lose any time. Maybe you're right, Judy. Smith, let me take that off with him. Now, we didn't mean it. You know that now, don't you? What a little peach, eh? All right, Romeo. Calm down. We got work to do. Yeah. Come on. Nurse made in a herd of sheep. Sure hope Dad don't find out about this. Come on, darling. Was you talking to us, miss? No. I was talking to the sheep. <laughs> Come on, darling. Come on. Raise hey. your heart, my darling. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Ken. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever Ooh. see such eyes? Ah, uh, keep your mind on your work. He's still mad, miss. Me and Wally's both sorry for what we've done. Well, we were kind of rough. There's a swell dance in town, and I'd certainly be honored. Hey, listen. It's a dance, not a convention. Guess you forgot to sign little Goldilocks up, haven't you? Hey. And listen, I'm intending to go to that dance myself. And all I'm needing is a pardon. I'm afraid I couldn't go in this outfit, and it's all I have. But thank you anyway. Goodbye. Hey, Wally. Getting married? Oh, oh no. No, uh, not yet. How complete? Everything down to the, uh, uh... Yeah, yeah, you better put in a couple of those, too. <laughs> uh, I got some very nice, very nice goods here. Ah. Uh, how do you like that? Is that the best? Yes, sir. Well, put one in. Yeah, all right. Now, here's some other. These see, are... Whatever you say, you put it put it right in there, oh, see? Well, all right. Just Anything else that goes with it? Why, sure. I've got something in this box here that I'd like to show you. Yeah, yeah. I, I want one of them. Yeah, and, sure. and give me a couple of, couple of those. Oh, all right. I've got to write a note. You got something I can write a note on? Why, sure, here. Yeah. And uh, I want a dress. A dress? Yeah, one for for a dance. Yes, sir. I'm sure that this dress will fit her. That's fine. Well, you wrap everything up. Yes, sir. If anyone comes in before I get out. We pretend I've been buying a new saddle. Oh. Yes, yes, that's that. Right. 
Want to take these things with you? No, thanks. You just leave them here, and I'll call for them tonight. Yes, all right. Well, I think that's what you said. Yeah. Well, don't say anything. Howdy, howdy. Howdy, Ken. What can I do for you? Well, I could use some flannel underwear. Have you got any? Oh, sure. Good. How many suits? Mm, I don't know. Let me look at it. That my size? Yes, sir. That's right. I think, uh, think about, about three of them. About uh, three suits? Just right. It's kind of hot for this sort of underwear, isn't it? I don't know. I wear them the year round. That's uh, all right. Just take them over here and wrap them up oh, for you. Okay, it. I'll be right here. Al. Well, here you are, Ken. Oh, by the way, Wally was in here just now. He was? Yeah. Too bad I missed him. Uh -huh. Oh, say, by the way, you got that favorite jam of mine? Sure. Yes, yes indeed. Playing nursemaid to a lot of filthy sheep. Wait till I get my hands on them. I'll show them. And the funny part of it is, they seem to be getting quite a kick out of it. Getting a kick out of it, eh? Well, you just wait. It looked to me like they were headed for your east range. What? Headed for my east range? Why? Now, I happen to be riding that way, Mr. Thompson. Suppose I stop and warn them they're trespassing. Trespassing? <laughs> They're trying to steal my East Range. Shall I take care of the matter for you? Yes. Run them out. Every last one of them. All right, Mr. Thompson. Fish person. <laughs> well, you just wait. You, get out there. The minute those two young scholars get here, bring them in here. I want to see them at once. <laughs> Go on. Wally. <laughs> Thanks. What's happened? Plenty. The, the, the old man found out about, 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 about you herding them sheep and he hit the, 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 the roof. Really? Yeah, he, he, he b, 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 busted three canes. Three? Uh-huh. Oh, Wally. Hi, Ken. Say, boy, we're in a heap of trouble. Dad's found out about our playing little Bo Peep to that herd. Yeah, he craves your... He wants to see you. Well, we just as well get over with. Come on. Let me handle this alone, Wally. Ken, your shoulders are bigger than mine. The pleasure is all yours, boy. Those two scalloway. Higgy! Higgy! Where's my stick? I want my cane, Higgy! I wonder what that rotten smell is. The boys must have corralled a couple of skunks. I'm sorry, sir. I guess it was me. I guess I got too close to them sheep. Ah. 
Where? Where is that other sheep herder? Dad Waller didn't have anything to do with that. I got him into it. I was just trying to keep that bunch in town from making trouble, that's all. So, you're taking the blame for Wally again. Look here, Dad. You know how grateful I am for everything you've done for me. Picking me up when I was a homeless boy. Bringing me here and treating me like one of your own. Why, there isn't a thing in the world I wouldn't do to spare you unhappiness. But, Dad... Times have changed. We're not living in the old days now, when possession was nine points of the law. Things haven't changed for me. I settled the range my cattle graze on, and I'm a-keeping it. Yeah, Dad, but don't you understand? These sheep herders have leased or bought the land from the government. If you start any trouble with them, well, you'll be... You'll be bucking Uncle Sam. That's what you'll be doing. Peace. Yeah. I'm worried about your father, Wally. Why? He's headed for a lot of trouble unless we can make him listen to reason. Listen to reason? About sheep, man? Boy, you're an optimist. It's a good thing that sheep girl turned us down. <laughs> Imagine what would happen if the old man knew that we took her to a cattleman's dance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? Hey, handsome. You ain't seen her since she turned us down, have you? Seen her? Why? Well, no, no. Of course not. You sure? Sure. I ain't seen her, really. intend to go into the dance with that load on, do you? Dance? <laughs> no, we were just gonna take a look in. No dance for me, Sheriff. I got an important business. All right, Butch, but remember, don't start anything. Hey, listen, can't you keep your big mouth shut? Listen, Pete, the Sheriff ain't gonna be flatting about us, and the rest of the town is all gonna be in the dance. Now, those sheep are on old man Thompson's range, ain't they? Yeah. Well, who's going to get blamed for it if anything happens to them? Now, listen. All we got to worry about is collecting our money for the herd. Now, go on and get the boys. We'll be getting out of here soon. But listen, Butcher. Go on and get the boys. Miss Goldie, waiting for our little Wally. Ken, I've decided to let you take Goldie to the dance. Oh, now ain't you big-hearted, Wally. Oh, now listen, Ken, you've got a way with women. Tell her I've broken her leg or my neck or something, will you? All right, the pal. Howdy, miss. Was you waiting for somebody? Say, where's Laramie's other gift to women? I'm sick and tired of waiting. Oh. Well, if you was waiting for that pal of mine, you're liable to take root and grow here. Meaning just what? Well, uh, I kind of hate to talk about my pal that way. But you see, Wally is uh, very changeable. Awful changeable. 
I, I guess you just slipped his mind altogether. Slipped his mind? Say, just what are you trying to get at? Where is he? Well, he's uh, over there in front of that dance hall. It was the last time I saw him, waiting for another... Good evening, Miss Judy. Gee, you look scrumptious. Did what I sent you fit all right? I can manage, thank you. Good evening, Miss Judy. Good Are evening. There's a little present for you in the buckboard. Uh, and by the way, Wally, uh, take care of the team, will you? Like a good pal. Well, a dirty, lop-eared, bow-legged, throat-cutting porcupine. <laughs> Say, uh, how's that old stepdad of yours? Still set against me? Nah, uh, he's all right. Don't worry about him, Sheriff. Everybody having a nice time here, huh? Yes, they're having a real time. How about taking care of that, Sheriff? Sure. Huh? sure. Oh, I'd love it. You boys get that herd moving, and we'll go over and take care of the old man. Come on, fellas. He's gone. We better get rid of this evidence. Hang on, boys. Well, how about smoking him out? I see you found him. You bet. Can I have 
have the pleasure of this. It's about your dad. They attacked the camp. I'm scared to kill him. Come on, Wally. Oh, oh. Oh, boy, oh. Wait a minute. If you was to tell me that my horse could jump over the moon, I'd believe you. Because when the old man gets so crazy that he takes in the sheep herder's daughter, nothing makes sense. Well, what was he to do? Her dad was killed, and the sheep ran off. Somebody had to take her. But why the old man? That's what I'd like to know. It appears to me that there's something mighty funny somewhere. Look at him over there. If that don't just make you sick. But you've never let me really thank you for all your kindness to me. Oh, Judy. You know you're always welcome here with me. I know. Somehow, I simply can't forget that horrible night we found dead. You must forget, Judy. I know. I've tried. But it haunts me. If ever I find the man who murdered my father, I believe, I'd believe I'd kill him. Hello, Dad. Hello, Sonny. You mind if I steal Judy for a little while? Swell afternoon for a ride. I'd love to. But I've promised to go riding with Ken. Oh. Ready, Judy? Yes. You mind, Mr. Thompson? Of course not. Run along and enjoy yourself. I'll get my hat. Hey. You're getting to be a pretty fast worker, aren't you, handsome? Oh, I don't know. Kinda, maybe. Ken, while you're waiting for Judy, would you mind coming down and looking at the trap I got for the coyotes? Well, all right. Uh, tell Judy we'll be right back. Yeah, he'll be right back. The fellow told me this, told me I could catch anything in it. Well, we give it a look. Well, you see, Judy, he got awful interested in that new trap we got for stray coyotes. So he has to be excused. Can't you see I'm caught in this trap? It's hurt. <laughs> Hurry it up, will you? Oh. <laughs> With a fine pal, you wait till I get a hold of him. <laughs> Watch out. Watch the fingers. Oh. 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 
boy, what a relief. Say, listen, Higgy. Yeah? Have you ever been in love? How's it feel? Huh? Huh? You've had five or six wives, you ought to know. Say, did, 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 did you ever have a toothache? No, I don't think so. Well, did, 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 did you ever have a stomachache? Yeah, I guess I've had a stomachache, all right. Uh-huh. Well, it's t t t ten times worse than b b b b both of them put together. Say, what's the big idea, you old horn toad? Hey, you devil. You look like I ought to cut your heart out. You ought to get through. What are you going to do it? Huh? Get off me. Get up. Give up. Huh? Give up my eye. You give up now? You enjoy your ride, lady stealer? Oh, it huh? serves you right. That dirty trick you played on me at the dance. Took me a week to square myself with Judy. <laughs> How do you think Dad would feel about having a sheep girl for a daughter? Well, I don't know, Wally. Might please him a lot. He thinks an awful lot of Judy, you know. That's funny. What's funny? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Hi, Ken. Hello, Sheriff. Glad you rode in. What's up? Uh, anything wrong? Well, there's some ugly rumors going around town about the killing of this sheep herder, Winters. Butch Martin's back in town, and he's been flashing a big roll of money over in the saloon and kind of hinting that it's payment for getting rid of Winters. He brags that I don't dare touch him for fear of making trouble for Wynn Thompson. I see. Butch, anyway, didn't the dead Thompson hired him to kill Winters? You know that's a lie, Sheriff. Why? I can't figure Wynn Thompson hiring no killer to do his dirty work for him. Butch is lying, Sheriff. I'm going to make him admit it. Say, by the way, Sheriff, you couldn't mosey out of town for a half hour or so, could you? You know, just in case I had any trouble making Butch talk. He's inside right now. Thanks. Look who's here. Come on, have a drink. I want to have a talk with you, Butch. Well, go ahead. Well, I want it private-like. Private-like, eh? Well, listen, if you've got anything to say to me, say it here. I suppose your step-pappy wants to see me again, eh? Got another job for me running off. Oh, no, you don't. Keep your hand off that gun. All right. Come on, Butch. Get over there, Butch. All right, come on, Butch. Get over there. Get over there, you. Way over. All right, stay there. Dad, Butch has been telling everybody that you hired him to kill Winters. Just a minute. You've got this thing mixed a little. I never said you paid me for that job, Thompson. Though I'm not saying that I won't come back to collect after the money I got for them sheep is gone. You better get off your high horse. You're just as much responsible for what happened to Winters as I am. I got my orders direct from you to get Winters off. And from the way you talked, I didn't gather you wanted me to handle him with kid gloves.
Dad, I found this note in Judy's room. It's addressed to you. Sit down, Dad. Hey, I haven't been able to find Judy anywhere since we came back from the ride. Have you seen her? Well, come on. Can't you say something? What's this? I can no longer accept charity from the man who caused my father's death. Judy. Say, she doesn't think, Dad, that you had anything to do with that. I did, Wally. I sent Butch Martin to drive Winters off my range. You sent Butch to murder... Easy there, kid. My dad had nothing to do with that. Butch just saw a chance to steal Winters' herd. Blame it on Dad in case anybody found it out. But he just said he sent Butch. Yeah, to warn Winters to stay off his range, that's all. Off of your range? You knew it wasn't yours. You knew that Winters had a legal right to settle there. And what did you care about the law or anyone else's rights? All that matters to you is your hatred of sheep men. They're not human beings to you. Don't talk like that, Wally. Don't you think Dad suffered enough? Dad suffered. What about me? I've suffered. And I'm going to suffer because I've lost Judy. You suppose she'll ever talk to me again? The son of the man that murdered her father? Wally. Oh, I'll keep out of this. I had hoped to make everything up to Judy. Hope that she'd never find out. I don't know how she did either, Dad. Just us two that knew. Oh, just the two of you, eh? Well, I know how she found out. You told her. Wally, you're crazy. Crazy? Well, let me tell you something. You've made a great mess out of this for her. You've made a great mess out of it for me. Both of you. Wally. Hello. Howdy. You tell me where I find Miss Judy Winters. Ken. Judy. I'm so glad to see you. Well, I'm I'm glad to see you too. I I come over to you. You got to go back, Miss Judy. Go back. To the ranch. Yes. It's about broke Dad Thompson up. You're leaving the way you did. About broken him up. Do you expect me to be sorry? After what he did to my father? Uh, Mr. Thompson had nothing to do with your father's... With, with his death, Judy. He hired the killers. Why? Well, uh, that's where you're wrong. I did it. Mr. Thompson sent me over to order your father off the range. And, well, I didn't want to have a run-in with him. So I... I paid Martin to... go and give me his marching orders. Dad Thompson is not to blame for any part of it. There's nothing to keep you from going back. And be happy. You think a lot of Dad Thompson. Don't you, Ken? Wally thinks a lot of you, too. He loves you. I, I know, I know he'd make you happy. I won't, I won't be around to keep reminding you of things that's happened. I'm pulling my freight out of here right now. You'll promise me, won't you? I promise you'll go back. Bye.
Yeah, that sure was a dirty trick, all right. Pretending to be your pal and all the time cutting you out with your girl. Well, don't get about it. That's all over. Pretending to be my friend. I'll get him. Listen, I had a hunch that that grandstand play at Ken's and standing in with the sheep men was just to get on the good side of that girl. That's all he did it for. Well, I'm telling you something. When he comes in here, I'm starting to shoot. Atta boy. Show him your tough. Sure hard to take a Wally gun in for Ken. Is Ken here? No. He was here, but he left a little while ago. Did he say where he was going? No. Only that he was going to find Wally. Anything wrong? But, 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 plenty. K -K Ken and Wally have had a, a, a row over something, and, and if they m m meet, why, there's going to be a sh 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 shooting scrape. You go to the ranch. He may have returned there, and I'll ride toward town. Hello, you double-crossing cheat. I want to talk to you, Wally. You don't have to tell me anything. I saw plenty. Oh, come on, kid. Let's get out of here. Come on. Now you, go for your gun. Go for your gun! Oh, Wally, you don't know what you're doing. Oh, kid. Now you're getting some sense. Sure. Come on, we'll go get the rest of those dirty sheep herders. Let's get them Come on. on. Yes. Oh. Wally! Wally! What do you get, kid? And the arm jacket. Mr. Cabana's around. Oh, All right. Go quick. I gotta get out of here. What's wrong, Ken? Wally's gone crazy, Sheriff. Come on, boys. Get your horse. Go ahead. Oh. What's the matter with you? We're quitting this right here. Oh, I see. It's the girl, eh? No, but we can't go on with this. So you're turning yellow. No, I'm not yellow, but I'm not a murderer. Well, I ain't. Here. Butch Martin shot him. I oh. saw the whole thing. Oh. I bet they get you, boy. You go away from me, you dirty double-crosser. Huh. You take care huh. of him, Judy. That's Butch Martin and his gang. You're looking for trouble.
finish you. Got all the reason in the world to do it, too. I guess the sheriff will take care of that, though. All right, Sheriff, you can take care of them. I gotta go. It's his shoulder, Ken. Look. Get you bad, kid? No. Just nick me. The main thing is, did you get him? Sure I did. Tied him up and give him to the sheriff. That'll be a prize on snakes like that. Why, there is, Hanson. Oh, don't be so dumb. Judy's been explaining a lot of things to me. Haven't you, Judy? I told him that, well, that... It was kind of tough to get the right guy to propose around here. So I figured I'd help her out a bit. Go on, go on, kiss her. <laughs> <laughs> 